EA Sports, it's in the game. Now that's what you call good football. are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Caesars Superdome here in New Orleans. Today we've got a week six matchup for you here between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New Orleans Saints. And we are underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Sets up play action. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Play action now, Dalton. He completes it to Alave. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A first down there on a pick up the 25. To throw here, Dalton. That's Alave bringing in another one. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. The Saints at three and two, a game over 500 here to start the season. They were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind and the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. From midfield here, Dalton. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Daxton Hill picks it off. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six from Bengals TD. But just an excellent play there by the defense to not only pick it, but take it back, because Charles looked like they were in a groove passing the football, several completions until that mistake. They certainly did appear to be locked in, and with how this offense is moving along, I know we certainly didn't expect to see a pick to end the series. Whatever the cause was, maybe they tipped one of those scripted plays. Maybe the defender just made a great read. 
It has certainly quickly changed the tone of this one. Evan McPherson for the extra point. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. At their own 20 yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Three and two, their record through the first five games of the year as they got the victory last week. It's still early, just October, but what have you seen from these guys so far? Well, what I've seen is the team is still figuring out all their pieces because they've got some new faces from a year ago. Add in some new draft picks. Sometimes it takes a month or so before you really start to gel as a team and for those players to figure out their roles. But right now, I see them starting to elevate. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. The pass caught by Alave. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. It's a game of seven. Brings up second and three at the Bengals 43 yard line. Working with a second and three. Andy Dalton. Alave over the middle. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs. That damn short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. Kamara there with a first down carry, but not Number much running room. And he takes it forward for only a couple. It's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Dalton. Looking for the out route, it's completed to Landry. And he's going to be down inside the 20 at the 15. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Dalton operating in the red zone now. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw is a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance at any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Dalton up play action. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Saints are an extra point away now from moving out in front. What's good on the extra point? And they take the lead here at 7 to 6. Turn on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it.
Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Play action. It's Burrow. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Cameron Jordan showed the heart and soul of the Saints defense. He had a memorable year in 2021. He crossed 100 sacks and made his fifth straight pro ball. Not open. That's Jamar Chase complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Mixon with first down carry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. This defense for the Saints, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for them to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for them to escape the pocket. And run. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. Now Burrow. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Throwing again on second and 10. Burrow over the middle. He finds Higgins. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. It's got to be so tough having the ball in the middle of the field like that, knowing that a linebacker is just waiting to make a big tackle like we just saw. No, no doubt about it, because offense coordinators love to call plays and send receivers into the middle of the field. And linebackers, they want to naturally discourage those plays from being called. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down. First and 10, Joe Burrow. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. It sort of looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Again, it's Burrow. A throw for Burrow, but it's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And the Saints are going to take over here up near the 40. And this Charles definitely not what they were wanting to see. Remember, he threw three interceptions in the loss last week, and now he gives the ball away again here in the very first quarter. And you have to think that this is drilled into him all week, too, by his teammates, by his coaching staff. They've told him all week long, we've got to protect the football. They probably cross that fine line with giving him the right advice and saying it too much, and it turned out that it got into his head a little bit. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one well, of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm, and he delivers it with confidence. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They look to throw on third with Dalton. This one incomplete. Probably should have been picked. A little nonchalant with the throw to the safety valve, but it's fourth down. Blake Gillikin on punt now on fourth down. Back deep, Trent Taylor. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. 
36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Bengals drive about to get going. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play cards at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Last run got six, now second and four. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The question for Mixon was after an injury war in 2020. Will he be back to his old self in 2021? And not only was he back, he was even better. He set career highs across the board, finished top four league-wide in yardage and touchdowns. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I always laugh when people hey, say, what's the toughest God. route to defend? Not like any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Two yards, good enough for first. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain there of 30 big ones. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. And they come with a jet sweep here as Burrow just taps that forward. Now they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it up field for a bigger chunk of yardage. They go play action with Burrow. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And they put it on the ground here on the second drive. And, of course, Charles Ed follows drive number one where they have the INT. Makes you wonder what's going on with this team because a lot of times we can attribute it to nerves. But maybe it's a lack of focus. Maybe it's, it's the preparation for the game. Maybe they just came into a little lackadaisical because that's just not looking good at all. That's just not the football that we came here to see. And some space here. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it, and then run with the football. Lots to try to add the PAT. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First duo. Right now, they're arming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is just 
Thanking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, doctor. Here we go, here we go. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Back to Chase, that's caught again. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. A great job there, Charles, just to hold on, absorb that contact. I guess that's the risk you take catching the ball toward the middle of the field. It is, and if you're going to gain yardage, you're gonna to have to go there at some point. But how about the read, okay? The eyes of that play, stepping out from the middle of the field and really making a big hit. Did not get free, but boy, that's a tough area to go into when you're going into this spot. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Burrow gonna give this to Mixon. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And the Saints are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. On second and seven, Dalton. And the catch made by Johnson. First target, first catch at a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely in a... And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Well, this one taken in by Olave. And he'll be out of bounds right at about the 10-yard line. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be a third and about 13. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. The Bengals with two extra DBs. A nickel look on third. Blanket in the passing lanes. Dalton now to pass. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. To return is Taylor. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. First down, here's Burrow. And that one caught downfield by Boyd. 
And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over and out of bounds. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Here we go, here we go. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bengals get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Here we go. Zach Taylor's made the decision. They'll go for two here. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at first. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and ten. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. And Dalton to throw. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And it'll be Dalton again. He completes it to Alave. And they'll get this right past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Second and 10. Play action here with Dalton. six-yard line. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And Dalton will just sneak it. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. they got to get to the line quick. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Oh, yeah, good surge defensively. Sometimes you can just tell by the way a quarterback lines his feet up behind center. He's going to try and sneak it in. And they catch him here and stop him for no gain. This Bengal defense, they passed the first two tests. Now it's third and goal. The final act of the first half, Dalton. Touchdown, Saints! Andy Dalton with his third touchdown pass of the game. And the Saints will extend their lead here just before halftime. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Willed it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. 
a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Oh, the Jets sweep to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Bucs set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, Here we most go. of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulting in the amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. 47 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And, the run and now ball going to be intercepted yet again. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead. And boy, it paid off. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two to throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice jump of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. He will find his man chase complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. The end result, 21 yards. Burrow going to keep it himself. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Joe Burrow with touchdown number 15 on the year and second of the game. And the Bengals are back within a score. They'll try and throw for it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. 
Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Kamara up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Play fake. Here's Dalton. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Over the middle, complete. It's Johnson. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they have to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QB love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Kamara gets it again on second down. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Dalton. And Thomas has it. Dances by at the 20. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. On second down, Kamara. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. The former ASU Sun Devil, Eno Benjamin with it. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Were you as surprised as I was that they actually ran it on second down there? I thought that they would go ahead and throw it in every situation here. Yeah, they've thrown for three touchdown passes now here. I think they probably go back to the air. Yeah, I think so. But ordinarily, second down is when you run your play fake, your play action, show run and throw the ball. Now they brought up third down and have to throw it anyway. So on fourth down, on comes Saints kicker Will Lutz. The kick by Lutz is good. And they will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side we're up on them because the defense, hey, we didn't give up the touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Marshawn Latimer. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. Yeah, they always say the most important part of the ball is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's
service, the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback. That's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That play ended for a net loss by Jesse Bates. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. A tenth carry for Kamara. And that is not going to get it done either. Once again, he stopped behind the line by this Bengals D. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Will Lutz now to try the New Orleans field goal. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Lutz is good, and that would make this a nine-point lead. So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. The Bengals drive about to get going. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed, so they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. A big play there on the catch and run. 68 yards. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. I'm wondering. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Pats it forward. It's a jet sweep. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? Joe Burrow with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So a big play coming up for the Bengals as they'll indeed go for two. And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back within a single point here in the fourth. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score. But bottom line, they are still on top with the football. And a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It's a loss of two. Brings up seven and 12. At the 20 yard line. Dalton sets up play action. Alave holds it in. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards there. First down. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 
back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there on that play. I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Dalton up, play action. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 19. That one goes for 24 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. 93, 52, 90, Here's Dalton. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he takes it inside the 10 to the end before he's out of bounds. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pick up of eight. Here's Dalton. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Travis Landry from eight yards out. And the Saints will add to their fourth quarter lead. Let's look to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. The Bengals drive about to get going. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one-possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave it with a second and just a few inches left. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Throwing for Chase on the crosser. He's got it. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Demario Davis there on the stop. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Burrow looking to pass. And my goodness, another interception. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw a second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. To throw here, Dalton. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Dalton now to pass. The pass caught by Alave. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Play action now, Dalton. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. The Saints on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and 11. Flushed out right. And this is caught. He hits Landry. And he's got another first down. Two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw to throw Burrow. Pass complete, first. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. I'm one, ready? From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Burrow. That's complete to Chase. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now Burrow. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts. As it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. 
throw in Burrow. Finding Mixon here again on back-to-back -back plays. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Burrow. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. First and goal, a touchdown, and it's been. He gets in just in the nick of time, so they get the touchdown they need. Now they need a two-point conversion to tie it. We'll break down the touchdown later. It's two-point conversion time. Go to your script, pick your play, and go for it. Here we go with Burrow. And they don't get it. It's incomplete. They got the touchdown. Could not, however, get the two-point conversion to cap it. And they're still down by a pair. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. that they needed here. We'll see if they can do the rest. Some teams are just not comfortable waiting to see what happens. Some teams like to force here the action. Go. That's exactly what we saw with this onside kick. The Bengals drive about to get going. Now it's Burrow. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm. But I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. So all eyes now locked on Evan McPherson with three seconds to go. This for the win. And his kick is good. From 49 yards away, he nailed it. And the Bengals are going to get out of here with a W. That was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one, and in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while.